Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. <laughs>
No duck activity out here at all. Everybody's inside. Yeah. Actually, I'll just double check the feed shed to make sure nobody came out and is sitting in there. Yeah, like this thermometer say minus 25 right here. I don't know if you can see that. So, anybody in here? Nope, nobody in there. All the ducks are staying in the barn. Good for them. At least they got a little bit of a brain today. I wish I could, through video, could actually show you guys how cold it is there so you could get the sensation. Uh, my fingers, uh, the wind, my face is sore already and my fingers are sore already. <sighs> crazy stuff well ladies and gentlemen the weatherman uh, didn't lie it's actually warmed up it's uh, only minus 12 right now and there's no wind so I'm going down here to uh, take the uh, tub cover off of the duckies because they're all coming out they really like sitting in the Sun uh, in front of the barn all right well let's get their uh, tub uncovered Oh, look at the ice mess here for me playing yesterday. Got some great footage of the ducks uh, doing all oh, So We got some serious ice here. Did, got some great footage yesterday uh, of the ducks taking a, a shower when it warmed up there. Oh, nice and clean water for the ducks. Wonder how long it's going to take for them to come on over and, and play with the water. Nice and clean. All right, ducks. Look at them all. They're so funny. Come on over and play in your tub. All right. I'm going to uh, go in the barn and take the water away from them. Oh, we got a Miss Scoby. She jumped out of the pen. Or flew out of the pen. You silly duck. I wonder where you landed. It looks like that's where you landed. So you went for a little fly. Silly animal, yeah? They, uh, the old Muscovies, they come and go as they please. All right. Silly little duckies. They're so cute. All right, what's going on in here? Yo, ducks, it's gorgeous outside. <laughs> I'm not bringing any water in here, so you get that idea out of your heads. <laughs> oh, look at that little duck sleeping over there. That dog looks like she's really comfy. <laughs> look at her. Oh, they're so cute. They get in the nesting boxes and they just... Uh... Oh, look at this thing. Let's go over here. She's making a nest. She's having a hard time turning around. <laughs> All right, time to do uh, egg recon. All right, little ducks. What a difference in the water. But look at just from the water today or this morning, they got her all wet, but not as wet as they normally have her. All right, what do we got? There's one egg. Oh, that's a weird. Look at the shape of that one. It's like a teardrop egg. What are you doing in there, duck? Are you all right? Don't tell me we got another hurt duck. I don't like the way she's uh, laying. All right, we're gonna come back to her as soon as I get these eggs done. What do we got here? So, another bad pail of eggs. All right. Okay, let's uh, let's check this female out over here because the way her leg is uh, laying out there, I don't have a good feeling. We'll just hang that up there for now. All right, girl. What's going on over here? Come on. Are you all right? No, another hurt duck. What is going on here? Oh, poor ducky. My gut is telling me that we've got to uh, 
I got a problem. I got a, I think it's drakes that are doing this. They're hurting my females. So, yeah, that male really wants this female that I got my hands on. That's the only thing that makes sense. I'm gonna have to uh, thin or separate them. I gotta come up with something here to uh, separate the ducks from the males. We can't keep losing females like this, can we? That's what I think is happening. Another curveball in the duck adventure. Oh, little ducky. Alright. We're going to take her up. We're going to take her up to the hospital. The duck hospital's getting full. Well, we'll just put her down here in the snow. Yeah, she's got a bad limp. This is not good. And the thing is, is that she's not really dirty. And usually uh, when they're really dirty, it's a sign of, uh, you know, they've been, uh, you know, pounded on by the drakes far too often. And she's not even dirty. But she's definitely in discomfort. Come on, girl. All right, let's put you, uh, we're going to put you in the duck hospital. I got to clean the duck hospital out today. The duck hospital is getting full. I have a hunch we've got a, a, a bad situation here. All right, girls, I'm going to go to the barn, finish off what I'm doing down there, and then uh, we'll come up here and deal with this. <laughs> Hello everyone, um, yeah, curveballs one after another. Alright, we're here in the, uh, the duck hospital, and I'm going to clean this out right now, I'm going to get it cleaned out, and we're going to do the swap over, and, um, look at this poor little duck, and I've got to go and, uh, separate the males, I'm going to, I'm going to, I got some setting up to do here today, so, uh, just, just one curveball after another, if we don't have extreme weather, uh, we got the males doing some serious damage. Look at this poor little girl. Well, hopefully, you know, this one here, uh, you know, she was in bad shape, but now she's walking fine. I'll get the duck hospital cleaned up, and then I'm going to get resuited back all up, get dressed up here because it's a. Uh, it's, you know, it's minus 14 or minus 12 out and there's a little bit of a wind so it's not exactly warm. Um, and I've got to uh, come up with a new uh, setup in the, uh, I think I'm going to do the uh, the duck steel shack. And i got to come up with something in there for the uh, the males and uh, get a heat source in there for them. And Oh, it's just one curveball after another. This week's been a rough week. All right, we're gonna uh, first of all we're gonna take this girl out of here and I'm gonna put her uh, just in that little uh, recycling bin with some straw just so that she can relax um, until I get the, everybody separated here. Look at this poor little girl. Relax, little girl. This is bad. Poor little thing. Here, I'll just put you in there, okay? Just stay right there. Well, I'll be right back for you. All right, so now we're gonna get these girls. I'm gonna move them into here so that I can do this cleanup. I'm going to, uh, uh, move the males today. I gotta get them out and get them separated uh, to give the females a break here and uh, deal with this uh, this whole situation. Okay, so now we're gonna uh, give them their little baths to clean them up and uh, do an inspection and see what they're they're like here. Come on, who's first? Come on. Oh, Miss Iscovia, she's so good. That's exactly why they're in the cage. Duck poop everywhere. Oh, you. Hey. Right. Oh, I know, eh? 
We don't want to spill too much water in here. All right, girl. Let me see your feet. Yeah, the feet, I don't know if this is showing up here. They're, they're not like a baby's bum anymore. They, they're starting to get the ridges. You know, the scaly feel. Yeah, this one's getting it. But look at that. There's the skin that's falling off here. I'll just show you. Now, oh, girl, relax. Right here. She's got some black scale there. Uh, that's a chunk of dead skin or dead flesh. And there's a big hole in her foot. So she's definitely lost uh, a little bit of um, web. But look how good she is now. She's unbelievable. You're a little sweetie, aren't you? Hi. You're just a little sweetie duck. Come on, who's next? <laughs> Come on. Okay, Mrs. Gimp, you can be next. Come on. All right. Relax, little duckies. Oh, you're so cute. Actually, Mrs. Gimp and the other duck, um, there's a good chance we're going to... Uh, let me just look at you here. There's a good chance I'm going to put them back with the females here once I separate the males. All right, what's going on here? You're all right on the bottom. Hey, let's look at your foot. That's a serious stump. Serious, serious stump on you, girl. All right. All right, yeah, you got a serious stump happening in there, don't you? All right, let's put you in here. Okay, yeah, now this is the one that was limping really, really bad. Actually, she could barely uh, walk at all. And look at her now, she's standing up. Come on, girl. Come on. Relax, relax. Oh, you're a big duck. She's a big female, too. You're a big female, aren't you? You're good breeding stock, actually. All right, relax, ducky. No, no, don't even think of it. Don't even think of taking off. So let me just take you and check you out here. You're doing big improvement. Yes, you are. Aren't you? Okay. Oh, duck. You're a big improvement, actually. Huge improvement. You're walking. You've only been here, I think, three days. I can't even remember now. It's, everything's a blur this week. I know. Okay, I'll put you in here. Yeah, she's uh, walking much better. So I think, actually... I think once I get the males in the shed uh, and get them segregated from the females, um, I can let the Miss Scovey or Miss uh, uh, Gimp and this other duck out. I'll uh, put some tags on them. I don't, I don't think I have small enough tags, but I think if they didn't have to deal with males, they could go with the rest of the flock. All right, so let's look at this poor little girl. I uh, I don't know what we're gonna do with you. Come on. Come on, let me see you. Hey, I'll put you in here and you have a nice little warm bath. You're probably thirsty too. Well, she's, she's, she's drinking, but she's not really, really thirsty. She's definitely uh, got this leg problem though. Oh, the ducks over there clean themselves. Yeah, she's definitely got a hurt leg. But uh, the other duck we brought in the other day was like this. You know? And she was hurting too. You know, so it's like, you know, uh, we could bring, them, bring her back. But I've definitely got to go out and i got to go deal with this. i got to go set up something uh, to separate the males and... I got some work ahead of me this afternoon. 
and the males are going to have to go in the shed. Oh, the duck adventure. It keeps throwing curveballs at us all the time. Um, uh, you look exhausted. She's not looking too good. Hopefully she's got no internal damage. Such a sweet little looking duck though. Of course all the ducks look really sweet. Really soft when it comes to that. Alright, but I'm definitely, uh, I gotta get the males separated here because we can't have four ducks in here. It's just getting too crazy. Next thing you know we'll have the whole flock in here. All right, girl, I'm going to, uh, we're going to move you. Let's just get you rinsed off here. Get you cleaned up. Okay. Get you cleaned up. Some nice warm water. This is nice and warm. Okay. Poor little thing. Poor little ducky. I know, eh? A little bit of feces on the front of you there. If you're gonna be in the hospital, you gotta be clean. And that's the deal. Oh, look at her. She's digging her head down. Diving her head down. Oh, yeah. You gotta be clean in here. That's the deal in the, in the hospital. Yeah, she's definitely uh, not doing well here. All right, we're gonna put you in here with your with these other females. <coughs> and the Scoby, every time I bring in a, a new uh, duck for her, she talks to them like crazy. She's a friendly little Muscovy. Every time she does the exact same thing. She greets them and wags her tail and But then again after 22 days of being locked up in a dog cage by herself I can see why she's uh, so happy to see another duck. All right, I gotta uh, go deal with this male uh, or this Drake deal. We gotta get them separated. I gotta catch them. I got a busy afternoon ahead of me here. Cause I can't have four ducks in here. That's too many ducks inside. Oh, Miss Muscovy checking her out. Oh, rubbing her head. She's such a little sweetie duck. Well. Curveball after curveball. Oh, we got another limping duck. What is going on here? Is that a female? Yeah, another female limping duck. I gotta get this uh, taken care of. Well, I'm doing it right now. That's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna. Uh, that what's happening here is all the females are staying out of the barn because the male Muscovies are inside causing havoc. So I've got to come up with a, I don't know what to do if I, I don't know if I should move just the, the male Muscovies and, and they leave the peaking and the rowing in with the, uh, with the females. But I gonna we'll see. I'm gonna I'm gonna first I'm gonna get everything set up and then I'm gonna start figuring out how I'm gonna attack this. I'm afraid to put the uh, the the uh, Muscovy and the Rowans uh, drakes together because the the Rowan drakes are so small. I you know I don't want to come in one day and look in the shed and find four dead uh, Rowan uh, drakes. You know. Well, we got a Mexican standoff here. Three Muscovy males uh, standing off. They're causing lots of problems. We uh, we definitely got to separate them. 
They're they're uh, definitely causing lots of problems here today. And these are problems that can't be ignored. They've got to be taken care of like right away. So I'm going to uh, start. Uh, like look at this. Everybody's getting forced outside because of these males. So I got to go set up the uh, the shack there. Get the lights set up for them. You know. So they've got a place to be. Well, another crazy day on the duck adventure with curveballs that just don't seem to, to stop. Uh, I got all the, uh, everybody separated. Oh, camera's fogging up. Anyways, it's just nothing but females in here now. All the males are gone. We'll go back outside here because the humidity is, camera's fogging up too much. But I'll take you over to the males. I gotta run over to my neighbor's place, get some straw before it gets dark. Uh, I've got the uh, males. It turns out we had more males than we thought. I don't know how they uh, slipped through. And there's some males that are definitely not worth keeping. There was some, I, I was actually shocked when I was holding them. I was like, oh, they're, they're not as heavy as the others. But then the other ones, you know, there's like, I got three peakings, and well, I got two peakings that are absolutely massive. So they grew after, uh, you know, we uh, separated them all. But I've got them segregated here in the shed. I'll take you in. I gotta go over and get some more straw. But, uh, they're in here and they can't be trusted with uh, females. They're hurting the females. So there's a grand total of uh, 15 males, which is far too many for 70 females. So that's why we're getting this uh, herd problem. But really good news, on, I, I didn't get video of it, uh, but we, I tagged her so we know, we know who she is. But uh, actually there she is, she just came out. Now I wanna show you here, this duck, less than three days ago or two days ago was absolutely lame she couldn't walk she was like like the one i took out this morning you know completely lame laying on her side leg was no good uh well you know you saw the video she was falling you know and look at her now she's walking so if i just keep the males away from her now she's got a little bit of a bow leg on her you know her legs uh it's going out a little bit but it's night and day difference but i got like i said i'm keeping the males away from them uh but i've got to run over to my neighbor's place like i said before it gets dark right now the other female that uh, she's in really bad shape uh really 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 bad shape i'm worried about her uh so it's you know but I, I, who knows you know i i was this one here i thought for sure that we wouldn't, uh, you know, she wouldn't uh, recover, come back, and she's like walking around, like, like she's walking around right now out here. I double tagged her so I know it's her, and uh, she's doing great. Like, I'm really happy. Oh, she just went back inside. Like, she's in and out, in and out, running around. So, right now, it's just nothing but females in the barn, uh, no males. And uh, we're going to keep them segregated. I'm going to be doing a call. Uh, I've got to get rid of uh, at least. Uh, I'm thinking probably eight, nine males have to go. Uh, so we're next warm patch of weather here. Uh, we're going to be doing a kill and hand plucking ducks. Ugh. Anyways, well, it's only, you know, seven or eight ducks. Not a big deal. We had nine ducks. Uh, but I, it's like we can't have this many males. I'm thinking uh, two of the really big Muscovies and, uh, you know, two big Pekings and maybe one Rowan. Uh, that's it. Uh, we just can't have uh, this many males. Uh, with 70 females like they're hurting the females uh, and that's why the females are really really dirty uh they look bad they're you know they're just getting they're getting screwed too much uh and it's hurting them so uh, i've got to do the right thing here and you know separate them and we're going to do a call so hopefully it warms up this week and we can do a call and uh you know get rid of those males and then maybe five males so we might even go down to five males uh in the shed and i'll keep them separated till the females you know regain regain their strength and get cleaned up and and get back to uh, normal and uh you know I, I just way too many males the bottom line i screwed up big time but hey like I said, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm learning as I'm going here. So, anyways, that's the duck update for today. I got to run to my neighbors <coughs> before it gets dark so I can get some more straw for the uh, drinks. Well, what a brutal long day. It's about 7 o'clock. I've got the light on as I'm just finishing up my duck chores. Because I didn't even get those done today. Because I spent the whole day uh, doing the uh, segregation of the uh, male and the females. And setting up a whole new place for the males to be. So, everybody's coming up for a drink of water here because I got the lights on. I'm going to uh, see how cold they're lifting their feet. They're so silly. They're out here because I got the light on, so they're coming out. But these females, they're uh, 
We're going to notice a big difference in the females here in the next four or five days. They're going to get uh, a lot more uh, clean and white, shiny looking. Back to normal. Look at them. They're cold. It's cold out right now. It's about minus 16 and there's a wind. Come on, ducks. Go back inside. They're <laughs> silly ducks. Look at them lifting their feet up. It's cold out, isn't it, girls? There you go. Your girls can all be inside and uh, have some peace and quiet. Look at them. They keep sitting down to get their feet warmed up. All right, well, I'm going to turn the light off now because I don't want them outside. It is cold. It, unbelievable. We'll go over to the males here. We'll do a quick look before I uh, shut everything down. Go inside because I have to deal with the uh, still with the hospital situation here. Do a little another another check on that hurt female. She's in really bad shape. But uh, the males are all inside. They're uh, I don't know if you can see through the window here. I don't know how that's showing up in the video, but they're all in there. You know, it's amazing when there's no females around, they get along. So they're underneath the heat lamps right now. I'm uh. Like I said, going inside, turn off the lights. I've been outside like all day uh, doing something I did not expect to have to do. The never ending uh, saga of the duck adventure, how curveballs could be thrown at you all the time. Oh, people, I'm wiped out. Today was not counted on at all. Uh, we gotta, I gotta deal with these uh, drakes yet. But they're, now the drakes are separated, we got them segregated, so. But uh, I'm going to give uh, this little peaking uh, a warm bath, clean her up some, um, and I'm gonna throw a little more straw in there, and I'm going to get her comfortable. So she really seemed to enjoy laying in the warm water. Um, you know, and I'll get to, I'm going to put some food right in front of her, and uh, I'm going to put her, actually, I'm going to put her right in front of the water dish. And, uh, you know, it's a uh, poor little girl. I, I don't know, she looks in a lot worse shape than uh, the last one that I brought in here, but who knows? Hey. You know, she might come back for us. We'll see. So I'll, uh, we'll get her out here and we'll give her a little bit of a clean up. Alright, we're going to give this little girl a clean up. And now that it's just her and Miss uh, Ice Scovey, they were cuddling a few minutes ago. So, come on, ducky. Oh, she's trying to get up. Come on. Relax. Oh, you little thing, you. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a warm bath here. Warm you up. Hey. Oh. Okay. Oh, this doesn't look good for her. Oh. Huh? Oh, she's trying to clean her head. Oh no, she's not trying to clean her head. She's dying. Hey, what are you doing there, duck? I don't know about her. She's, uh... It's strange. Maybe she is dying on me here. Okay, she keeps putting her head under the water. Are you like trying to drown yourself? All right. Oh. You're weird. Are you all right? What did those males do to you? Well, if anybody can make you better, it's me. I'm gonna dry you up. I'm gonna get a towel for a little duck. I don't have a good feeling about you. You can move your head around. What did they do to you? 
we got to save another duck. All right, I think I'm going to have to uh, put you inside of a recycle bin. And bring you in the house. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring you inside the house. We're going to put you in a recycle bin. Poor little duck. Okay, so I'm going to put her right here. She can't go anywhere. It's strange that her head falls down. Look at your eyes here. But she, her neck's really strong. Like it's not like she's got a limp neck. No, no, no. You just stay right there. Well, I, I moved the uh, the duck into the house. The duck is actually in our house now. Uh, but I've got her in a little uh, recycle container with water right beside her face and uh, pellets, so she doesn't have to move. She is drinking, so she has been drinking. So the fact that she's drinking uh, means uh, that she's not shutting down dying. So that's a good sign. So we'll just have to see what happens and. You know, keep an eye on her and maybe we can bring her back. If we can't, we can't, you know, but uh, if she's totally limped, if she's, uh, you know, her leg is screwed, then we know what has to happen. Which just sucks.